You deserve a vacation, and we're here to help you make the most of it. I'm Stacey Leska for Travel and Leisure, here to show you all the destinations that are worthy of your next day off, like right here in Lucerne, Switzerland. Come with me as we explore all the places you can stay and play for a getaway well spent. Lake Lucerne offers some of Switzerland's, and maybe even the world's, best views. The lake stretches on for 43 square miles, offering visitors the chance to find both adventure and relaxation all around its shores. And of course, we can't forget some of the first-rate hotels near the water's edge, too. Your stay in Lucerne should be a luxurious one. And that's why you should be booking a room at the Mandarin Oriental. The Mandarin Oriental swung open its doors in 2022, but don't get it twisted, this building comes with plenty of history. You see, the building dates back to 1906, when it opened as the Palace Hotel Lucerne. It went through several iterations before the Mandarin took it over in 2019 for extensive renovations. Now it sports plenty of glitz and glamour in its various restaurants, its 136 rooms and suites, some of which open to patios and balconies overlooking the lake, and a few historic details it saved from the past, like the tile from the original building found throughout the common spaces. Rooms start at about $700 a night. When you're ready for a caffeine kick in the morning, make your way to Cafe Tacuba for local roasts and one seriously special Swiss breakfast treat. Cafe Tacuba is a specialty coffee shop located in the heart of the city. Here you can get all of the usual hits like espressos, lattes, drip coffee and more, all made from its beans roasted in-house and harvested at its partner farm in El Salvador, along with other drinks like its house-made lemonades. Those who are a bit hungrier can find a full menu of breakfast delights or choose to pick up a flaky, buttery, and all-around perfect pastry, including some short crust pastries you'll only find here in Switzerland. Pick up a coffee for about $4.50 and a croissant for another $5. If you want to get the best view in town, you're going to have to work for it. But don't worry, we've got the perfect guide for you. While Lucerne is gorgeous from every angle, getting high above the clouds will provide you with a view almost too beautiful to be true. To get there, you'll have to hike to the top of Mount Pilatus, a mountain with a peak that hovers almost 7,000 feet in the air. And the best way to get there is a guided hike with Sven and his partner Lenny. On the way, you'll walk past meadows filled with flowers, craggy cliff sides, and at the top, maybe even a sprinkling of snow, no matter the season. Lucerne has so many different hidden spaces to see, beautiful trails, beautiful lakes. You know, I can look out of the window and see the mountains, and most of the time there is a little bit snow on top of it. It's beautiful. The entire hike takes about five hours, but don't worry, plenty of stops are included. The hike begins at about $105 per person. If you want to get all of those fantastic views without putting in any effort at all, there is one more very comfortable way to do it. Come on, let's go for a ride. Live out your mountain view dreams just by hopping aboard the Mount Rigi Cogwheel, a train that takes you to the top of Mount Rigi in under an hour. The train ride is as serene as they get, slowly passing mountain homes, meandering through the tree line, and provides awe-inspiring lake views along the way. Guests can get off wherever they like and stop at the top to breathe all that mountain air before getting back on to ride down again. Tickets begin at about $80 for a round trip ride. When you're ready to refuel, come find the best seat in the house for lunch at Milfoy. Find yourself in the midst of a warm and friendly local environment for lunch at Milfoy. The eatery sits atop the lake. And no, we don't mean next to it. We mean above it, as some seats hover right above the water. Here you can enjoy plenty of locally sourced foods and drinks, including cheeses produced just a few miles down the road, meats raised in a nearby valley, and fish from Swiss farms. Don't miss the meaty lasagna or the vegetable forward quinoa slices. Get a full meal for about $30 per person. After all that activity, it's time to unwind. And the best way to do just that and get out on the water is with your very own personal sauna boat. You've hiked, you've dined, you've explored the city. 
Reward yourself by slowly drifting around Lake Lucerne on a private sauna boat just for you. Sauna Boot offers its vessel in Lake Lucerne to any weary traveler hoping to sweat away their cares. Guests drive the boat themselves for a full four hours, jumping between the sauna and the lake's frigid waters. It's an ultra calming experience that once again comes with those mountain views you've already fallen in love with. Get your boat starting at about $380. No need to bring a towel, that's included. Here is a bit of good news for your travels. Getting a table at one of the city's finest dining destinations could not be easier. That's because it happens to be right here on the Mandarin Oriental. Sit down for an absolutely divine finale to your vacation in Lucerne by dining at Colonnade, a restaurant that earned its Michelin star just five months after opening. And one taste will prove why. The menu is filled with French classics with modern twists, including wild turbot topped with hazelnuts, pigeon with a shallot marmalade, and vegetarian options like its in-season asparagus, all expertly paired with the perfect wine. A three-course tasting begins at around $200. When you're ready, the sights, the food, and all of the outdoor adventures will be waiting for you in Lucerne so you can come and have a vacation well spent.